Hey everybody, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to be doing a test on how long I can run a mini fridge on my off-grid solar generator. So I'm still running 100 watts worth of solar panels from the Harbor Freight 100 watt kit, and yes, they are still working just fine. I bought these back in 2017, it is now 2021, and these things are still functioning the same way they did when I bought them. I also added 200 watts of Renogy solar panels, a PWM charge controller, I still have the 400 amp hours worth of battery bank, and I am still running the old 5,000 watt Jupiter inverter. If you would like to know more details about my solar setup, you can click the link in your upper right hand corner, or I will try to leave a link in the description as well. For my first day of this test, it's a little bit cloudy, but I do have high efficiency panels, so it should work fine. So right now I'm gonna click on the power inverter and you're gonna see the, the PWM charge controller allow more amps into the battery bank. All right, so right now it's 1.27 p.m. and it is a cloudy day. It was uh, raining earlier today. I'm pulling in about 4.83 amps. After turning on the mini fridge, uh, ooh, 13 amps. That is awesome. Um, I do have a timer here. Kilowatt meter. So we can see how many kilowatt hours we used in total. And there is a timer. So we can see how long we've been running it. For now, let's put amps. And we'll get back to this. Like I said, it is a cloudy day, so you're gonna the amps are gonna move up and down. We might have just got a a bright spot hey everybody so this mini fridge has been on for well let me check how many hours the compressors off right now that's why it's not showing any amperage he's about one kilowatt hour so far that's not too bad uh, the mini fridge has been on for about 22 hours and 25 minutes and let's see where we're at so the battery's completely full the solar panels are, per are currently generating about 11.68 amps and 164 watts. At least that's what the uh, the charge controller is allowing in. So so far so good. I might I I should probably go get ice cream for this mini fridge because it's pretty much a freezer since we lost the little freezer door. Well, actually, I've never had the little freezer door to this. This is actually just a test fridge. So so far today, since about uh, 12 a.m. Actually, since the sun came out, we've generated about 0 .48, 0 0.485 kilowatt hours. All right, so it's now 3.36, and this mini fridge has been running off the solar battery bank for about 26, so 26 hours and 8 minutes. The uh, sun has frozen two water bottles. Yeah. Ice solid. Like so we're at, so we're at a hundred percent right now. Um, I'm gonna leave it leave it again overnight. I and, drank rock hard ice. And right now at 3:36, it's pulling in 9.77 amps, 133 watts out of 300 watts on the roof. And since this thing has been freezing everything, I decided to try ice cream instead. Oh. Yeah, I decided to try ice cream. Ice cream. So we got paletas. You want a paleta? Coconut or, or mango? I like coconut. So, got a coconut paleta there. All right, so I'm still running the mini fridge. Uh, it's, the compressor's on right now, so it's at 1.63 amps that it's running. And it is 6.55 p.m., so I am only pulling out about 0.89 amps. This is mainly what I'm running off of right now is the battery bank. So right now I'm gonna look at the generated power for the day. So. My solar panels have generated about 1.298 kilowatt hours. Now again, that's a little over 13 cents saved, but you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just fun to uh, to run off the grid. This whole thing is completely off the grid. I'm running a freezer completely off the grid. By the way, this has a timer on how long it's been uh, plugged in. Uh, first, here's the kilowatt hours used, 1.5 kilowatt hours used since um, about 29 hours ago. 
So for 29 hours and 32 minutes, I've been I've used up about 1.5 kilowatt hours. All right, everybody. So I've had this mini fridge uh, connected to my solar battery bank for about three days now, and my batteries are showing still at 100%. And right now we're pulling in about 11.23 amps to recharge the batteries, keep the batteries fully charged. So let me show you how many amps it's pulling out. Right now the compressor's on, so it's 1.62, 1.65 amps, somewhere around there. Let's look at the kilowatt hours that we used. There it is, 2.29 kilowatt hours. That fan you hear in the background, that's actually, that's actually the Jupiter power inverter. Here's my solar fan going off. Running off the 25 watts of solar. Got the RF Tech Guy 3D print. Uh, fan protector or fan screen whatever you want to call it and let me show you how many hours this has been connected so 49 hours and 14 minutes and I might just actually leave this on because it's not taking too much of a hit well let's look at the record here so right here as you can see the lowest I've had it is about let me see 12.3 volts which is m lower than I would like it so if it goes if it goes lower than 12 volts, I'll probably um, shut this thing off. But so far, it's been doing good. There's a power generated today is about 0.92 kilowatt hours. So if I was to leave this mini fridge on constantly, it'd be about 13 cents a day that I would be saving. We'll be leaving links down in the description on where you could get a lot of this solar stuff. And that's about all the time I have for today, so be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.